Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects quick tip scripting tutorial. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you how to use a lazy copy and paste method that doesn't require you to run through a bunch of properties. You can basically just trick After Effects into using the copy and paste methods built into it. Essentially what we're gonna be creating is a script that instead of going through and copying the properties of one thing to paste it to another layer, we're gonna basically be using the built-in edit, copy, and edit paste features in After Effects and create a script that will select what we need to copy, copy it, then deselect everything, select the things where it needs to be pasted, and then run the paste operation. So in this case, I have layer one, which is gonna be sort of the copy layer, and we have these effects applied on it, a camera lens blur and a glow. And what we're gonna be doing is copying these effects over to our layer two here, where it's basically just gonna paste them using the paste function. So when we run our script, it doesn't matter what we have selected in the composition as long as we have a composition open and these two layers set up like this. When you run the script, it's going to copy and paste those effects over to the second layer. And this will work irrespective of how many effects you have applied. It's just gonna run through and do everything essentially. And before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it down below to be notified of when new videos are coming out on Monday and Thursday. And in the description, you can check out the link to our GitHub where you can check out tons of cool code and free samples on our page, as well as down below, you can check our Instagram and follow us on there for live updates on when videos are uploaded. And lastly, make sure you join our Discord server where we have a thriving community already and you can join us to have general discussions, talk about scripting, extensions, plugins, or other things. So now let's go ahead and get started by creating our script. We're gonna start by opening a new JavaScript extended file and we'll just zoom in a little bit here. The first thing we're gonna do is set up our variables. So we need a variable for the composition that's open and we're going to assume they have one open by saying app.project.activeItem making sure that it's the active item in After Effects. Then we need a copy and a paste layer essentially. Uh, so we can just say copy layer is equal to comp.layer1, the first layer in our composition. And the paste layer can be equal to our second layer. And of course this may vary depending on your project. But in my case, I wanna copy from this effect here and then paste the effects over onto this here. Then we're gonna create a begin and end undo group by saying app.begin undo group. And we'll just call this the lazy copy paste process. And then we need to end this by saying app.end undo group. And again, if you're not familiar, this will essentially allow us to put any code between this and we can press control Z or undo once to undo all the operations within it. So we could go through and create a hundred layers or apply a hundred effects and easily undo them. And in our case, we're gonna be copying who knows how many effects to the secondary layer. So we wanna make sure we can easily undo that if it doesn't work out. And now we're gonna get into the lazy part or essentially what we're gonna do is go through the process of how we would do it manually in After Effects. If we were to do this manually, what we would do is select our copy layer we would then select each of the effects inside of our layer, go up to edit, copy, and then we would select our paste layer or our second layer and go up and say edit, paste. So essentially what we're gonna do is replicate this process with a script uh, using command IDs. So the first thing we need to do is again, select our copy layer, but what if they have some other layers already selected? Well, what we wanna do is make sure everything is deselected first. So if you want, you could loop through the entire composition and make sure each layer is deselected. But in my specific case, I know there's only two layers. So what I'm gonna say is our copy layer dot selected is equal to true. But before we do that, we need to make sure our paste layer dot selected is equal to false. And we wanna do this again because we wanna make sure we start off with this layer selected regardless of what the initial settings are. Then what we're gonna do is select all of the effects inside of our layer. So we have our copy layer. We're gonna create a for loop. We'll start with var i is equal to one and i is less than or equal to our copy layer and then the property called effects. And we're gonna get the num properties. And then we're gonna increment i by one. And this will loop through all of the effects applied to our layer. And all we need to do now is say copy layer dot effect i dot selected is equal to true. So this will go through and select all of our layers. If we run it now, you can see it will already do that. And if we say select our paste layer and run this, it will go ahead and select our copy layer and all of the effects. So now that we have the sort of clicking setup of how you would go around with your mouse and click things, now we need to copy everything. The way we're gonna do that is by saying app.execute command. 
and usually we need to give it a command ID number like 318 or some other number that will indicate to After Effects what the command is. But there's an even easier way we can do this, uh, which will be compatible with any version of After Effects. So instead of saying we're gonna just give it a number that could change for different versions, we're gonna give it the method that will give us the number for this specific version. We're gonna say app.findMenuCommandID, and then the name of the menu command needs to be in a string, which is just copy. So now everything will go through and copy. If I run the script, you'll see nothing's happened, but if I were to select my two layer and paste, it's going to paste those effects because they've been copied. So now we need to basically deselect our first layer here. Our, uh, our copy layer needs to be deselected. And now our paste layer is the one that needs to be selected. We need to go down here and then run the paste operation. And the way we're gonna run the paste operation is the same as copy, but we're just gonna change the text to, to be paste. So now our script should be running properly. If I go ahead and run it, you can see it's going to instantly select that second layer and copy all the effects. So if we run it, irregardless of how the layers are selected here, we're going to get it to select our paste layer and paste all of the effects. And I could keep going in here and adding more and more effects, and all that it's going to do is just increase the processing time that it will take a little bit, but I can continue to run the script and have those effects pasted instantly. That's going to do it for this week's After Effects Quick Tip Tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe as well and the bell icon next to it to be notified of new videos coming out every Monday and Thursday. And in the description, you can check out a link to GitHub and Instagram to follow us for new code updates as well as video uploads. And another reminder to check out the Discord where you can follow us and have general scripting extension and plugin discussions. And lastly, in the description, you can donate to any crypto addresses, whether whether it be Bitcoin, Ethereum, or a basic attention token. Thanks again for watching everyone, and we'll see you in the next one.